Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the field list pane that appears at the right side of the application window when a chart is selected to change the fields shown in the chart. At the top of the field list pane, you can select either the tasks or resources hyperlinks to use as the source of data for the selected chart. You can then use the Select Category dropdown to select a category of field data to show in the chart for either the tasks or resources you selected. In the Select Fields pane below that, then choose the values to show for the selected category fields. You can click the right pointing arrows next to each field category to collapse and expand the fields shown. You can check the checkbox next to any field to plot its values in the selected chart. You can uncheck a checkbox next to a field to remove it from being plotted in the chart. The names of the selected field values that are being shown appear in a listing at the bottom of the Select Fields section. At the bottom of the Field List task pane, you will see any sorting and grouping options for the selected category above. You can make a choice from the Filter drop-down to apply a filter to the selected task or resource fields. You can use the Group By drop-down to create a grouping of those fields by type if desired. You can use the Outline Level drop-down to select which level of task detail to show in the chart. You can check the Show Hierarchy checkbox to display the hierarchy of tasks in the chart categories if desired. You can use the Sort By drop-down to select a sorting order of the data within the chart. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free.